India, the seventh largest country in the world and the second most populous democracy, shares the largest proportion of youth population. According to census data 2011, the youth constitutes 28% of the total population in the country. The latest estimates shows that it would have reached 34.33% of total population by 2020. Now, the major concern is what is the employment scenario in country for this huge population? As youth employment rate in India averaged 23.7% from 2018 to 2021. A new report from McKenzie Global Institute states that India needs to create at least 90 million jobs to absorb 60 million new workers who will enter the workforce based on current demographics by 2030. If India fails to introduce measures to address pre-pandemic trends of employment, its economy will decline by 2030. With the decadal growth of just 5%, and absorb only 6 million new workers, marking the decade of loss. India needs to leapfrog ahead to achieve the employment, productivity and the growth needed. Fortunately, being vigilant of this situation, Government of India, coordinating with ICAR, has formulated a holistic developmental project NAHE, funded by World Bank. This project is implemented through different agricultural universities across nation. So now let's peep inside one of those developmental projects running at GBPU80 Pantnagar IDP Nahi. IDP Nahi is an opportunity for Pantnagar University. Right from beginning, as we perceived this project under the guidance of our Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Tej Pratapji. The World Bank funded National Higher Education Project uh, uh, here is aimed at uh, institutional development program and its major focus is on building capacities of the university for uh, delivering skill based programs, different kinds of uh, skill development trainings, uh, different kind of educational uh, programs or language programs. Students are given opportunity to hone their skills apart from their formal education. This project is all about improvisation of overall educational ecosystem of the university. And into this context, the interventions made educational infrastructure, e-governance systems, e-strengthening, improvisation of digitalization and improvisation of all the classrooms across into the university in different colleges. The IDP Nahe project has conducted foreign language classes, galvanizing the dynamic vision and relentless efforts to build mental flexibility, superiority in concept formation and diversification of cognitive abilities of the students. Under the language component of NAHE, few foreign languages and English was taught to the students of different colleges of the university where French language, 256 students were benefited, A1 and A2 level both were taught and 1600 hours study. Another language taken was German language, where 210 students were benefited, A1 and A2, both the levels were covered. Then under the third language that was English, where General and IELTS classes were taken, 122 students were benefited, and 810 hours were covered for this language. A total of 588 students of the university were benefited from these language classes and 4,010 hours studies was done. In these different colleges of the university, students were taken, they were benefited, mainly college from the agriculture, college from the home science, and college from the veterinary sciences were taken. The acquisition of education and skills can lead to industrial advancement, economic growth, higher employment rates and overall development of the country. So different program has been conducted by NAHEB under skill development program. We have conducted various talks 
more than 50 overseas experts have delivered talks on different frontier areas of science, technology and personality development. And in the remedial courses that were conducted for the benefit of students, 1,353 hours of lectures were delivered which benefited 837 UG students. And by now, we have developed tie-ups with 35 institutes, organizations globally. So ultimately, it has benefited more than 2,000 undergraduate students of the university and about more than 100 faculty members of the university. Nahid is actively involved in developing the paradigm of entrepreneurial mindset and environment of innovation among students and is conducting different developmental programs aligned to the objective of incubation. I am heading innovation incubation component of NAHEP along with seven other teachers. We have funded nine projects under the mentorship of nine different experts of this university and in which 22 students were involved and approximately 125 students were benefited through this project. Right now, we are running a startup unit of hydroponics, aeroponics and plant propagation through which more than 120 students of second year BSc AG were involved and we have also conducted nine workshops, eight seminars, three contests among students and uh, several approximately 14 lectures of their benefit. To facilitate better instruction and to improve student outcomes, Nahib has contributed in developing high quality infrastructure. The university has dedicated a complete building named University Centre to operate several programs under IDP Nahib at Pandagar. The university centre has upgraded and created some facilities like a lawn with open gymnasium, an amphitheater with Atiti Shala, a museum, a meeting space for faculty and students, an open library space, a virtual lab, a language lab, an innovation come incubation center, meeting halls, training halls, conference rooms inside the building. And besides these facilities, 65 classrooms have been renovated and upgraded as digital classrooms. Several other labs like Agri-Informatics Lab, uh, climate smart agriculture lab, robotics lab, apiculture lab and sericulture lab. Under the EAP and ESP component of the IDP NAHIP, several new innovations, new initiatives have been made like installation of CCTV camera in the campus, roadside speed barriers, then the solar lights, then solar energy system backup inside the university center, establishment of ramps for specially able people, sanitary vending machines in the hostels and many other efforts have been made to create such environment in the university which make this place happier, more upgraded and more comfortable for teachers and fraternity of the university. Now let's see how IDP Naheb is contributing to transform youth into most valuable asset for the country. Starting from our admission in the university, NAHEP has been an integral part of the course curriculum that we have been going through. We attended various workshops that were taken by the industry experts. We attended a workshop on agricultural informatics in which we got to learn about how we use machine learning and robotics in the field of agriculture. It was really impactful. It sparked a lot of ideas in our mind that how can we use the knowledge that we gained here. We got to learn about how the second agricultural revolution was about to come in the country and we knew exactly where to start. I have been enrolled in the French language classes under language component of IDP NAHEP. Learning French language under NAHEP was totally a new experience for me as it provides me various benefits like I learned a language with international job market, a language of culture traditions, international relations, higher education, and a language that opens up the world. I was a content development intern at Patshala 4th. A thing that I can confidently say about the internship was that the work culture was balanced and I was guided by a mentor throughout my internship period. 
The internship opportunity provided by IDP Nahid has helped me take a step forward in terms of professional work and the areas of my interest. Every student of Pantnagar has exposure to various world-class instructors and facilities. And this has been possible just because of Nahib. We got the opportunity to attend webinars and seminars with the world-class facilities from all across the nation. The journey of transformation was pragmatic. So are the students with profound changes in their personalities. Nahib is a long, integrated and transformative journey that supports quality improvements of higher education to create a more skilled workforce and is heading towards the cross-cutting strategic areas of job, gender and climate change.